You know, my, uh, my granddad used toothpicks. My dad used toothpicks. I don't know, I guess to them it was always a tool, but to me it's always been something more. I'm Mark Signorello, and I am the founder of Pick and Pine. Pick and Pine was founded because of a need, not just to preserve the true craft of toothpick artisanry, but to also help dispose of wood poles used in training students at Southeast Lyman Training Center. So when I first came to Trenton, I saw the Lyman School growing right in front of my eyes, and year after year I saw truck after truck of poles being hauled off, and I think I did what about any logical person would do and opened up an artisanal toothpick company. I began working at Pick and Pine because I needed a new creative outlet. I needed a new hobby, a new art form to curate. Uh, I wanted to grab the toothpick and show the world my creativity through that toothpick. You know, I'm not really into the whole toothpick thing. Honestly, I'm here because I want to be a lineman and Working here is probably the first step in the right direction. Mark, he's a cool guy, but toothpicks are toothpicks. I'm more of a floss guy. We are creating little works of art. Each pole is pulled apart to source only the best wood from its core. And while some of our methods may seem a little unorthodox, I think it's these little things that make a big difference. We're Pick and Pine, and we make toothpicks out of power poles.